such a very brief notice. We receive an invitation, Mr. President, from the United Cities of Local Government to attend a Forum of Regions of Africa Summit under the patronage of King Hassan VI in Saidia, the Oriental region in Morocco. We were all received, Mr. President, by the President of the region, equivalent of our Governor, Mr. Abdembi Biwe. It was a great event, Mr. President, and it was well attended by at least 22 African countries and officials of the World Headquarters in Barcelona, including Antonia Sabates, the coordinator. The regional government's issues were discussed. Regional interests in various areas of development were discussed. Indeed, at the end of the conference, the Nigerian Governors Forum has agreed to sign an MOU with the Association of the Regional Government of Morocco in several areas of development. On the sidelines, we, the states that also attended the event, Mr. President, we signed MOUs with the Oriental Region. For instance, in the case of Nasarawa, we signed MOUs on the areas of agriculture, mining, and solid mineral development, peer review and education, and scholarships. So it's the same with the various states based on the various areas of interest. The United States Cities of Local Government is a very strong organization of all regional governments under the central governments with the headquarters in Morocco, as far as Africa is concerned. The headquarters of Africa is in Rabat, and Nigeria really never had an opportunity of attending this event at that level where we will have even executive position. So the, ad, and the agenda of the summit was also the election of the president and vice presidents of the five regions of Africa. Southern Africa, Eastern Africa, Northern Africa, Central Africa, and Western Africa. So in the day before the election, all the com countries that came from these regions actually had a, uh, their own uh, meetings in order to select which countries will accept. This is the part we, we believe very strongly we should bring the, the new president to you, Mr. President. South Africa was selected to represent Southern Africa. Kenya was selected to represent Eastern Africa. Morocco, Northern Africa. Cameroon, Central Africa. And we went through so much, Mr. President, because of the Francophone countries that really wanted the position very badly. Went through a lot of debate. It was another pre-2023 in Nigeria that we went through. <laughs> At the end of the day, we were lucky. We got the support of Niger, which we strongly believe Mr. President needs to know. Niger came very, very strongly in support of Nigeria to take the position. And that was how we were able. And also with the support of Mali, Mali came very, very supportive of us. We don't want to tell you who were against us, but at the end of the day, you know, we were lucky. Nigeria emerged as the vice uh, pres president at that level. At the regional level, after the support of these other countries, the following day was the main event, the main election. And at this moment, Mr. President, we want to remind you that indeed, Morocco is a good friend of yours and a good friend of Nigeria. Morocco came very, very strong support of Nigeria to emerge the pioneer.
president. In addition, with everything that Morocco had done to us, they supported us very strongly. Kenya came very strongly in support of Nigeria to emerge. Mr. President, at this moment, I present you the new president of the UCLA Africa, Dr. His Excellency, Dr. Kayode Faemi. Thank you very much. See, my brother, the governor of um, Nassau, has explained the context of our involvement in the establishment of the Forum of Regions of Africa. And calling it a Forum of Regions may be a little confusing, Mr. President, but in most Francophone Africa, they use regions instead of states because they're not federations like, like ours. But even in some Anglophone countries, they don't even use states. Uh, in South Africa, it's province that they call their uh, equivalent of states. And in Kenya, it's counties. So they have a very uh, different nomenclature, but I think we all settled for regional governments, and that's what informed what uh, was being done. And the idea behind the establishment of the forum, sir, is really for subnationals to become the engines of growth and the agents of innovation uh, in a way that they can reduce the pressure on the central government. Uh, and in many of these countries, policies are set at the central government levels, but implementation really occurs primarily at the state level, just like ours here in Nigeria. And, and to that extent, uh, many of these states are involved in a wide, they have a wide range of mandates on economic development, on uh, social services provision, on structuring relations between rural and urban uh, centers, on climate change, on continental free trade agreement. And uh, so to that extent, the idea is for the Forum of Regions in Africa to be a unifying voice for uh, for states, for counties, for regions, for provinces, uh, and um, the ultimate goal is to create, uh, to contribute to the emergence of um, uh, a much more structurally reformed, uh, socially united, economically strong, uh, and globally respected uh, continent, contributing to Africa Agenda 2063, and of course the uh, Sustainable Development Goals uh, 2030, uh, Mr. President. Uh, and the, the emergence of Nigerian Governors Forum as the inaugural president uh, is not just a victory for our country, it's a testimony to how well regarded and respected you are amongst uh, other countries in Africa. Just as my brother, the Governor of Nassau, has described it, uh, Niger went beyond the call of duty. All the governors from Niger were insisting that, look, Nigeria cannot be at the table where a matter of this nature is being discussed and other countries in West Africa are challenging Nigeria. That the right thing to do is for Nigeria to be the representative of West Africa and that way we can push uh, a stronger voice for our region uh, in the continental uh, body. And that was precisely what happened. In getting there, Morocco then insisted that, look, for us as the Council of Governors from Morocco, our king and the president of Nigeria are very, very strong partners. And originally we wanted to contest for this position, but since Nigeria is being put forward by West Africa, we're withdrawing ourselves from the uh, contest uh, because we know the relationship between Nigeria and our country and to that extent we will wholeheartedly support Nigeria to take this uh, uh, position. So the role played by these two countries we feel it's important that we convey it to you so that in your own moments of engagement with them I know you're preparing uh, for your visit to the General Assembly Mr. President and probably one of your 
engagements would include meeting the president of Niger and president of uh, the king of Morocco, if they're both there, to really, uh, through you, express our gratitude to these uh, two leaders of, of, the, of the continent. And uh, Mr. President would also recall that earlier we had actually invited you, without knowing that this was going to happen, we were planning a Pan-African conference of uh, uh, governors in partnership with the Afrexim Bank for the 30th of, December, um, of September, and we had uh, sent you an invitation to give the keynote address uh, at that conference right here at the banquet hall in the State House on the 30th of, December, uh, of September. And we thought this has even reinforced uh, the necessity of your presence at that event because many of these African governors that were originally not going to be present at this meeting have all now expressed their interest to come to Abuja for the, pre, uh, for, for the meeting on the Continental Free Trade Agreement that we're jointly hosting with the uh, Afrexim Bank here in Abuja on 30th September. And I really would like to plead uh, for Mr. President's concurrence uh, uh, to honor us with your presence at that uh, uh, event on the 30th of, of September. We, for your convenience, we've brought it here. So it's taking place at the, uh, uh, at the banquet hall here in, in the State House. Uh, and, and we hope you'll be able to uh, grace the occasion with your presence. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. From regions of Africa, sir. Thank, thank, you, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much, yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>